Good evening, Mark. Well, longtime Washington pollster Stuart Elway found that Democrats in the state hold both an electoral advantage, according to his new survey, and an advantage when it comes to enthusiasm. This comes exactly one year from the 2018 midterms. Less than one week after last Tuesday's Election Day, the state's Democratic Party is already setting its sights on 2018. 50 volunteers attended a Saturday organizing academy to launch the fight for the 8th Congressional District, currently held by Republican Dave Riker, who's retiring after next year. The 8th District starts here in the uh, suburbs of King County and goes all the way over to uh, Wenatchee. Pollster Stuart Elway says the race will be a test case. Factors at play the urban rural divide and suburbs that are trending more Democratic. The Democrats have a pretty good shot in the 8th a year away. While Elway's newest poll didn't focus on specific districts, he found overall Democrats hold a 14-point advantage in the state currently when asked about which party they would likely support next year. They won every category of age, the Democrats, every category of income. Uh, uh, women went for the Democrat by 30 points. So what do these numbers mean for the 2018 midterms? Uh, I think it's going to become pretty intense. While Congressional District 8 is the only Washington race on national lists of races to watch, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has added Washington's 5th District to an expanded target list. Republican down. veteran Kathy McMorris Rogers is facing a challenge from yeah. former lawmaker and WSU Chancellor years. Lisa Brown. Uh, Lisa Brown, former majority leader in the Senate, uh, is going to be the strongest test that um, uh, McMorris Rogers has had. Elway also notes that the state's third congressional district in southwest Washington has flipped back and forth between parties over the past few election cycles. While ultimately these races will come down to individual candidates, Elway says there's no question Republicans are carrying some extra weight into this upcoming election cycle. If I'm a Democratic candidate for anything, my opponent's middle name is Trump. While the Democratic strategy will revolve around President Trump, he believes the Republican strategy will revolve around Seattle. Hey, Eastside, it's Seattle. We don't have enough liberal politicians. It's a tactic we saw in the balance of power Eastside race for Legislative District 45, and it's a divide Elway found in his own polling. It's more like Seattle and rural areas than urban rural or east-west. Meanwhile, the state Republican Party pushing a back against this early polling, saying that a poll taken a year before an election is pure conjecture and not relevant until you attach names to it. In a statement, they also said if Democrats are convinced they're going to win in solid Republican districts with proven Republican candidates, they say, quote, bring it on. It will be an intense year of campaigning across both sides ahead. Back to you.